Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to be taking you through CAD Yen as I'm looking to see if sellers will trade below the 95 level and drive prices to the downside. Now I am saying this ahead of a Bank of Japan monetary policy statement which could really shake the market tomorrow. I mean tomorrow in general could really shake the market. We have really significant uh, data out tomorrow so me talking about sellers trading through these lows here um, you know the analysis could be completely different by end of play tomorrow however um, the situation to me is looking like we will get that breakdown just because we're creating some poor lows so I want to go over that uh, in a second but we had CPI data today out of Canada CPI month on month fell from 0.1% to minus 0.6% which would have been a welcoming uh, move by the um, Bank of Canada. We did see uh, a little bit of a sort of uh, rise above expectations, but still a decline in the median CPI year on year and the trimmed CPI fell from 5.4% to 5.3% and the median fell from 5.1% to 5%. So still on that downside measure there. And uh, the Canadian dollar didn't really react too much to that because it was fairly forecasted. So it was already technically potentially priced in to the market. Now, like I said, big day tomorrow. So this is really going to kick the market uh, into gear and see what happens, especially the Bank of Japan. This may happen overnight for for me. However, the, the Bank of Japan... They talk about any kind of tightening here. We may see some significant moves. So definitely one to watch going into tomorrow. We also have CPI data out of the UK. But I think importantly we have PPI and core retail sales out of the US in the afternoon at 1.30pm uh, British Standard Time. So like I said, a little bit of a long shot here in terms of we, you know, the landscape of the market may change by tomorrow. Um, however, I do like the look of the technicals here for CAD Yen. I mean, if I jump up to a monthly time frame, it's a really clean chart. We saw basically price try and trade above the 106 highs, which formed back in 2008. And we really uh, kind of failed to hold above that level price dropping back within and it looks like we're trading back towards the previous highs which were the 2021 highs around about the 93 level in here so that to me uh, would be targets for any kind of selling pressure to the downside now not only that if we take it from what's happening on the um, daily time frame let's go to the daily time frame and zoom out a little bit you can see all this sort of uh, fresh air here Okay, where the market just traded very quickly through that point. Okay, um, now usually when we do have these kind of areas here um, where the market has moved very quickly, price wants to fill that point. Um, so that's why I'm also looking to see if price will come down to the 93. If I was looking at this from a volume profile point of view, what you may look at from the bell curve is something uh, that pr probably looks um, a lot like this. OK, um, where we've got this kind of area here where there's that sort of low, uh, low volume area where price is trying to trade and kind of uh, auction through at the moment. So I would be looking for that downside pressure. Now, if I go to even even lower time frame, like the hourly time frame here. Uh, you can see that what happened was price came back up to an interesting kind of level around about the 98.25 handle, 98.50 handle. We range, we broke out of that range. Now, typically what I would say is I want to see price come back to this range and trade to the downside. Um, I don't feel like that's going to occur now when looking at this market. However, volatility could see that happen going into tomorrow's session. But we kind of already had a uh, reasonable pullback and what i mean by that is we had a similar situation here if i just jump to the four hour you can see um cad yen was trading between the 101 uh handle and the 99 spot 50 handle this is an area we talked about uh, potentially getting short cad yen uh, we rallied to the upside we dropped down we then rallied back up so i do feel like is that sort of 
rally now exhausted in the market. The reason being is because look at the price action here. We haven't really uh, seen the aggressive buyers in what we what we saw here. This was a you know over a day period, and then price rallied back to the upside. We've been in here now for a couple of days and we haven't really traded out of a longer term range. So to me, this is an opportunity. I think if price was to trade below the lows here at the 95 handle, I think we really could see a move down to the 93, which you know, is a good couple hundred pips to the downside here. So definitely something to work on uh, when you're looking at this market. Again, if I kind of go even lower, to that hourly time frame, you can see we're kind of forming another consolidation. So day traders may want to be keeping their eye on any kind of move that happens within this range. Could we see price potentially uh, break out of this point? And uh, you may look for early positions around there. But what we want to do is see sellers driving the price below this 95 handle. If we can trade below the 95 handle, 93s on the cards here so keep an eye on cad yen i just like these this from a, a technical point of view i think this monthly time frame looks really clean for opportunities down to the 93 handle and uh, definitely something to worth worth checking out thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more forex trading content and i'll speak to you soon